I wouldn't be able to do my job without sketching. I find it much easier to explain something if I have the help of a sketch. I think the sketching I do falls within three categories. The first category is when I'm in a meeting. I tend to grab any piece of paper I have on my sketchbook and to, to draw what I talk about in support of what I'm trying to explain. Those sketches are normally very rough, very quick. But I might do one, and then I might do another one right after. And I don't normally tend to keep them, but they are mostly used as, uh, in support of what I'm trying to explain. The second category is when I talk to myself, when I'm trying to reflect on something to support the development of an idea. So I tend to sketch in my book, and those sketches often mean something to me, but uh, someone else won't really know what, what, what they are about. It's mostly for my own use to either play with an idea or record a thought process. Um, the third type is a polished sketch. I don't really finish that off on the computer. There's a careful choice of colors on many decisions about what's important to bring forward, what the background should be like, to relate what I'm talking about to the rest of the project. So color, scale, background. It's like a finished sketch, either for presentation or a report. Sometimes a bigger idea, like a strategy, can be really well illustrated on a sketch. And it might take five pages of text to, to cover it, whilst people see the sketch and understand very quickly. And then they go to the text to get all the rationale behind the, the thinking. The project I'm working on at the moment, we're making proposals for the redevelopment of part of uh, Lille around the system of old canals to try and improve the water quality in a playful way trying to make it good for the environment and also enjoyable for the public and educational at the same time. So this was one of the first sketches we presented to the design team. I'm trying to illustrate a process, starting by lifting the water in a bit of a Heath Robinson way. The channel bucket is powered by a wind turbine that spins at the top of it. From that water tower, the water gravitates back to the canal and feeds a number of water features, which we've called the water tulips. I was never taught about how to sketch. This is something I love on expedition, actually. I see the sketch as probably the, the, the primary mean of communication on those sort of uh, projects.